In the second set of notes for section 10.6, we'll be focusing on the following example problems. As you're working through these problems, please make sure to think about the various theorems that we talked about in the first part of the notes. I'd like you to try these example problems on your own, so you're going to hit pause, and once you're ready to compare your answers with mine, you can play the video again. In example one, we should have recognized the fact that we were given a diameter, and we have that inscribed angle ABC. That angle is inscribed in a semicircle, which then means that that angle must be a right angle. Then we're working with a 9, 40, 41 family. So that means that the length of our diameter is 41, but since we wanted to find our radius, we had to divide that by 2 to get that our radius is 20 and a half millimeters. For number 2, we're given those points of contact. So right away, I'd be thinking about the tangent-tangent angle and its intercepted minor arc. So we have this arc here, xz, which they tell us is 125 degrees. And we also know that angle P is 78 degrees. But remember, we have that tangent-tangent angle, the red one, and it's minor arc that's intercepted. So that red angle and the yellow arc must add up to 180 degrees. So we get that that angle is 55 degrees, and then we should recognize that large triangle PQR. We know all three angles must add up to 180 degrees, leaving us with 47 degrees for angle R. For number three, we're given that arc DB is 130 degrees, and right away I'd be thinking about the fact that we want to find the measure of arc AC. What can we do? Let's look backwards. So from there, we can find our inscribed angle, which is 87 degrees. We know the angle is always half the measure of the arc, so we can multiply the angle by 2 to find that that blue arc, AC, is 174 degrees. Next, we want to find the measure of angle ADC. Well, if we look closely, angle ADC is another inscribed angle that's intercepting that exact same blue arc. So that means that it's going to be congruent to angle ABC, so it's also 87 degrees. Lastly, we want to find angle DAB. Well, right away we should be thinking about the fact that that's an inscribed angle that's intercepting that yellow arc, which then means it's half the measure of it, so it's 65 degrees. And lastly, for number four, we're given that the measure of arc PR is 10x plus 6. Right away I'd be thinking about the fact that those two angles, PQR and TUS, are congruent. And we're given some expressions to represent the angles. So all we have to do is set those expressions equal to each other and solve for the value of x. We get that x is 4, but we're going to substitute that back in for arc PR and find out that that has a measure of 46 degrees. But since those two angles, the inscribed angle and the tangent chord angle, were congruent, then that means that their intercepted arcs are also congruent. That means that the measure of arc TU is 46 degrees as well.